Hey guys, you are welcome back to Top 5. I hope everyone is enjoying the videos we've been putting up so far. From secret government places to evil criminals, scary creatures, and newly discovered species, we've talked about a lot of interesting things and I hope you've enjoyed watching them. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 5 mutated species that are terrifying the science community. Please note that this list is in no particular other, and the creatures mentioned here are my top 5. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. It seems like scientists are trying to breed more and more animals together, and there are a lot of movies out there that show why this can be a bad idea. Mutant animals are often the subject of horror and sci-fi stories, but there's a lot of science behind how these creatures came to be. Check out the 5 most bizarre creatures created by science. The number 1 on our list, the goat spider. Randy Lewis, a professor of genetics at Utah State University. Lewis is the mastermind behind this remarkable scientific endeavor, he's investigating spider silk, which has a fibrous strength five times higher than steel. The potential of repurposing the material for various purposes such as armor and medical bandages was what motivated him to start the project. However, the problem with spiders is that they're only very small, and do not produce great quantities of silk. The professor therefore found an obvious solution to these problems. Implant spider DNA into goats. He took the silk encoded gene from an orb weaver spider, inserted it into goats' udders to prompt milk production. He then took a gene that prompts milk production in goats and inserted it into an egg, before implanting it into a mother goat. 150 days later, and boom, baby spider goats. When the spider goats lactate, the resultant milk is rich in spider silk protein which can be filtered out and spooled into a real one. However, while this technological advancement has seen a variety of useful applications such as the medical bandages and the armor we mentioned earlier, it has also been useful in creating synthetic body parts. Despite these advantages, some people are wondering what the long-term biological results would be. Goats with spider legs sound like something straight out of a horror movie, and while it may seem scary, only time will tell if it will have any long-term effects on the genes of these experimental goats. The spider goat may be the most useful creature ever created by science, or potentially the most terrifying, only time will tell. Number 2, Featherless Chicken. The chicken breeding industry is one that is already rife with controversy, as accusations of cruelty for speeding and painful executions are far from unusual. But one genetic scientist of Victor Kajina of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, has arguably overstepped the line in pursuit of more efficient chicken farming, through selective breeding. Kajina has created chickens that are born with no feathers at all, he has suggested that the new chicken could be the future of mass poultry farming, as he alleges the chicken meat would be low in calories, faster growing and more likely to survive in warmer conditions. Also because the chicken would not need to be plucked, both time and money would be saved in processing plants. However, critics are not convinced. Past cases of chickens naturally born without feathers are usually the result of genetic mutations. Due to the backlash from animal welfare groups such as Compassion in World Farming, there are currently no major plans to introduce the featherless birds on a larger scale. The third on our list is, the two-headed calf. Have you ever heard of the two-headed calf? I know you will say how is that possible? Yes it's very possible and I have seen it. Back in 2015 on a family farm in Florida, a new little calf was born. Those around her were stunned. The calf which was named Annabelle, was born with a mutation that has left her with two heads, four eyes, two mouths, two noses, and two ears. She was unfortunately too weak to stand up, which left her unable to suckle from her mother, but thankfully the family who owned the farm where she was born was devoted to doing all that they could for her. This meant that they would visit her regularly to feed her from a bottle. Unfortunately, there was little anyone including veterinarians could do to help this sweet little calf. The longest a two-headed calf has ever been recorded as living was just a short 40 days. It truly is quite a shocking mutation, and hopefully in the future scientists might be able to better figure out how to help, so this doesn't happen or potentially be able to extend the lifespan of calves born this way. 
The number four on our list is sterile pink bollworms. Just over a decade ago, the pink bollworm was one of the most destructive pests in America. The small invasive moth caused havoc in the country's cotton fields, costing an estimated $21 million a year through damage to crops and prevention efforts. It got so bad that the U.S. Department of Agriculture began tests to see if they could stop the worms in their tracks. They began growing a lot of pink bollworms in the laboratory. That might sound counterproductive, if your aim is to reduce their numbers. These male bollworms had been genetically engineered to be sterile, meaning even if they mated with a female, no offspring would come about. The worms were then released back into the natural population, where they competed with wild male bollworms for the females. Scientists hope that if enough of the sterile males mate with the females, the number of offspring will be greatly reduced, providing some relief for cotton farmers around the world. The fifth and final one on my list for today, human pig chimera. Lab-made chimeras organisms composed of cells from two different animals are a highly contentious issue among the scientific community. This is especially the case when the chimera involves the mixture of human and animal DNA. In January 2017, scientists from the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in California announced that they had successfully created a human-pig hybrid. The scientific team injected human stem cells into an early-stage pig embryo, which was then implanted into a female pig. The pig-human embryos were allowed to develop to 28 days approximately one-third of a pig pregnancy before being removed. Lead scientist Juan Carlos Belmonte said that this was long enough to understand how the human and pig cells mix together early on, without raising ethical concerns about mature chimeric animals. One of the main sticking points about combining human and animal genes is the idea that it could create intelligent animals with humanized brains and the questions this would raise about the sanctity of life of different species. However, it's thought that the approach could be incomparably valuable, because it could pave the way for growing human organs specifically tailored for patients for use in transplants. Thanks for watching today's video. Do you think science has gone too far? Or are these kinds of experiments vital for medical research and making the meat industry more efficient? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Some people argue that we shouldn't be messing with nature, others welcome it. We've talked about ways in which they help or even save people's lives. It's an interesting discussion and I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments section. However, if you find this video interesting, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new video is posted. Stay blessed.